welcome back to a below par production today we have the dgl final round at jelly park my name is elliot faulkner and in the booth today i'm joined by jacob Nieder. jacob thanks elliot we've got some real battles out here today uh, going into this final round so be exciting to see how it plays out yes and a quick thank you to our sponsors uh faulkner electroplating syrup designs gecko disc sports and of course NZDSS. So looking at the results from the first round, we have Willie coming in with a 10 down, um, a Christchurch veteran, one of the better players on the scene here. Newbie to the league, Callum, has come in with a 9 down, which is really impressive to see for his first league season. There's also Liz with a 7 down, tidy shooting from Liz, and Kev following through with a 5 down as well. So all handy scores going into this final round, there's all to play for. All right, let's get into the action. All right, here we are on hole one. Willie with the box. Hole one's a pretty straightforward 90 meter open field shot, something that Willie should have pretty good handle on. The only real danger here is the photographer on the right. That shot's looking very good though. Coming out a little early, but that's a great shot. Get off the tee with hole one. This is Callum throwing something that's flipping up there nicely. Really, really smooth. And he's got Ooh. more than he needed in the distance department there. Uh, Liz going for a forehand. Leans on the forehand a lot. Not getting the kind of usual skip you would. It's quite wet on the ground. Yes, this was played in August. So playing a bit differently at the moment. And Kevin's come up a little bit short there. Everyone with handy drives off the tee though. We'll be looking to try to cash in a bird. Wow, that was a really great putt. <laughs> I don't know if that went or not. <laughs> I think it's missed. Okay, I'll edit that afterwards. <laughs> Here's Kevin. A little bit low. Uncharacteristic start from Kevin. He's usually a great putter. We've seen a lot of him at the putting league. Yep, definitely a regular there. Everyone tapping in their pars. No issues there. Hole two. Really going for a full hand. He's swung that one out a little bit wide. No danger out wide. Just probably there to pitch up for a par from there. Yeah, a little bit of a risky run with the creek in the back. Callum, another really solid forehand player. These are two really smooth shots we've seen out of Callum so far. Looking forward to seeing the rest of the round. Now, 90 metre forehand, that's just a stand for still for Les. Gives that one plenty of room. That was a great shot there. He's done well there. Came in with the straight shot. Asking it to go, and it certainly did. He's gone deep. Joe's CTP on hole one, still standing. <laughs> Willie floats it. A little floaty bit there. Gave it, a, gave it a good chance, at least. Sensible way to run it. Oh, Liz just chaining out again. It's tickling the basket. Hasn't found the bottom of it yet, as of yet. There it is. Great part there from Kev. Stairs down the basket as well. Yeah, hopefully he's shaking, shaking those nerves off. And he's uh, getting into it now. Callum also cards a two there. And three for Willie. Three for Les. So Callum with the box. Callum's looking great here. Those three very tidy drives. That solid forehand as well. He's got another inside circle look for a two. Yeah, maybe he turned that a bit more than he wanted to, but he's out in the open. That athlete of a cameraman looked like he was in danger. I had eyes on it from the get-go. Here's a better looking line. It's looking really good from Willie. It's nicely on top of the hill, but you can tend to get a few rollaways up and down there. If you're unlucky, that soft ground it managed to just stick. Same sort of thing from Les, just kind of doesn't quite get the normal skip in the summertime. 
but a great part to follow. Absolutely drains that one. That'll be a great confidence builder after the first two. Another putting league champ here. He's always in the mix there. You can see why. Good bid from Kevin. Gave it the height, but maybe a little bit too much. Have to respect that run. Oh. Unlucky for Willie, yeah. There's been a few few chain outs in the early holes here. Quisby uh, looking to tidy it up. See if Callum can do that here. I think we just know he's such a good putter, it's surprising to see those ones not stick. Yeah, that's a great comebacker from Kev. Top work, keeping it clean so far. Well in for his three, Callum still got the box. Now try telling me that Jelly Park is in a forehand course. <laughs> <laughs> I think Craig Gold would disagree. Left hand course then. Liz going to the forehand. This hole does play a bit trickier just by pushing the tee back that 10 to 15 metres I'd say. Which makes that gap a little bit a little bit smaller to hit. More of a challenge off with the first throw. Pulled that over a bit, but you know, sometimes you get a bit of a look from out there. It's definitely better being left than right on this one for sure. Gotta watch out from the discs coming in from hole seven's T though. The solitary backhand on the hole lands in a an okay spot. Open look. Liz will probably just be looking to get this up and down for his three here. Yeah, that's well, smart. well out of position, but very well executed. Alright, Callum, this is what he's got left. Ooh. Oh, great bit. That would have been huge for Callum to get three in a row there. Oh, another one. Here we are with Willie. What's he got left? Looks like he's got a path through to the basket from where he is. Just leaving that one a little low as well. Unfortunate. Hey, the breeze on my back. Guest appearance from Ben Kroll, South Island champ. Why is he over there? Wow. Imagine if he knew he was a South Island champ then. <laughs> Wouldn't have believed you. Oh, Willie to clean up his three. Does yeah. so. And we can see the chase card, that's this one just in front of us here, having a bit of trouble. Joe looked like he was playing from the water. Yeah, it's interesting. Another forehand. Uh, Callum? A great shot. <laughs> Alright, Lee's on five. It's about 90 to the pin. Nobi on the right side, marked by that path. And additional hazard today of just a bit of a swamp in the fairway. Well, he goes direct. He's not getting the height he was looking for. That's the, that's the safe safe play though. Good miss out left there. Avoid the uh, hazard, the yeah. water and the OB. Yeah, the green grass is nice out there. Kevin turning something. And flying OB. It's unfortunate there on Kev. That's where Liz has ended up. got left. Tough look here from Liz. Just, yeah, never really got hold of that one. Keep it to save his par after going OB on the drive. Gives it a go. Give him, give him a great height though. It's Willie from D. Good looking run. Easy three. Liz for his par. 
Oh, I'm lucky. No, we're trying to... That was an assertive part there from Callum, taking the stroke on the card. Yeah. Good to get a stroke on the entire card there. Scoop a putt. Here's Callum. The Back to the forehand. The wind's really starting to pick up now, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, that held on to that a lot longer. And that has stayed in bounds. Yeah, it looks like quite a strong right to left. Wow, look at that air bounce action. Really pushing with these discs down, but it manages to get down and stick on that hillside. That's very high in this wind. That's going to be in trouble. Yep. Yeah. No there. Oh, it's floating down the river. Um, hopefully he gets that back. Okay, if can he learn from Les's mistake? Oh, he's overcorrected. I guess that was a good layup. So we're definitely seeing the top two pull away a little bit here. They seem to be getting better looks and making their putts. A two horse race. Yeah, at the moment I'd say Calm would be looking really good, especially if you can cash this one in. It's a good run. Yeah, he's, he's winning now, so I wonder if he knows at this point. Sometimes it's hard to keep track. Sometimes you don't want to be thinking about it. That was a bad miss there from Liz. We a very tough comeback. Over it? the top with the headwind, uphill, it's really sailed it away. A good putt there from Kevin for par. He's gone to the knee now. And a great comeback that par. A very good clean up. Could have been a very high number. Willie T. Gets the bird. One shot back on Callum. Hole 7, just the Mando tree to avoid there, the one with the big wrapping on it. Yeah, you want to stay right of it. The line from Willie was good, just a little low there, but you should be able to get up and down, no harm, no foul. That could be danger. Looks safe though. So we'll just pass over the OB path there. Not should, should easy. Not, but yeah, yeah definitely not easy to get up and down from there though. You really don't have to swing it around. Kevin, unfortunately, grounds it immediately. Liz throwing a big flex line. Great looking shot from Liz. And Fantastic. Gives himself an inside circle. Yeah. Right, this is what Kevin has. Long way to go left after getting around that tree. Straight into the headwind as well, it looks like. That's just held that over. Callum, can he do better? Oh, that's really good. That is really good. That is a great recovery shot from there. He's stoked with that one. Here's Willie, rank two. Half run, maybe. Yeah, another good approach shot. The, the wind might be playing into their, their minds a little bit, affecting some of the different shots that they're throwing. It's definitely pretty breezy out there by the looks of it. Well done, Lee is great too. And that's unfortunately a four there for Kevin. Two threes from Willie and Callum. So Lee's on the box on eight. Tunnel shot. He's made it out of the tunnel. He'll have a bit of a look at the basket. Yeah, anything kind of pushing out that the second set of trees is good. And uh, unfortunately, well, he's caught one of the early ones and gone very far left. Very hard up and down from there. It's almost an instant fall. Look at this though. Another forehand from Callum. Uh, he's throwing them well. He is. Why change anything? Yeah, so Kev and Willie finding out what it's like for a player like me to play whole eight. <laughs> and it's very tough to get up and down from here, especially for you. It's impossible. <laughs> All right, Willie taking the wide line, big skipper. And that's really well done. Like He will have a edge of circle two look, but to have any sort of look at the basket is really good. Especially from where he was down there, it's not easy to get up and down. Kevin, under the trees. Oh, wow. Wow. Almost rings it up. <laughs> that would have been one wild birdie. 
Les having none of it. Yeah. Smart play though. Can't, can't fault him for that. Getting out of hole eight with a three is is good. Willie for his three, and yeah, you can see that tailwind just pushing that down immediately. So hard to get those to the basket from that far with a strong, strong tail. Oh, wow. That's very unfortunate spit out there for Callum. Yeah, maybe you got a bit distracted by the Taylor Swift pin up in the background there. Wow, I mean, you, you were. I thought that was a real person for so long. <laughs> But that said, that's when it was inside the house and not just on the garage. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have my glasses on, all right? <laughs> oh, nine. On tricky one, there's Obi up the left, there's a Mando on the right, and o, uh, Mando, sorry, not Mando, OB on the right. OB, Mando, tricky stuff, basket on the hill. And a good forehand hole. <laughs> the jelly part. Oh, that needs to come back. Yeah, you can see the way that the wind is pulling those leaves across, that it really is pushing everything over there a bit more. Yeah, it's, re it's really really turned in this second round, isn't it? A bit of a change. See what Willie can do from here. Probably trying to accommodate for that wind, but just pulled it down. Yeah, but he does leave himself in, in a good spot. And that is a... Uh, that needs to get down. That's, yeah, right up and down. I think this... Uh, like the last hole, hole eight, a three on this one is um, no harm, no foul. It's good to get out with. Especially on a uh, comp day. Les probably hasn't got enough of that, what he wanted. So the same for Callum there. They probably would like to be a little bit closer for their next shots. And, yeah, yeah a, few, a few layups coming out of the boys yeah, so far. He's turning down a lot of these runs. But you can understand it's very easy in this kind of wind to end up three, four putting. Those were very, very confident tap outs though. I'd like to see that. Okay, and Kevin takes the box with his three. And then immediately hands it back. <laughs> Hits that silver so birch on the left. It's not a good one to hit on this hole. It's looking good from really there. Yeah, again the wind playing Ooh. havoc with it and Got some weird reaction on the ground there and rolled away, but you know, up and down from there. Yeah, Webby. absolutely. Is Liz getting a bit lower? He might get that slide forward. He does. Yeah, he's not going to have a look from there if he wants it. He's been laying those ones up. Callum playing for the edge, and we'll get a look from there, even though it's in a little bit of a back here. It has uh, cleared out over the past few months in there, though, so. Be fortunate with that. It'll be interesting to see how these players attack the hole, especially with you know the huge hill that we have here. Kevin, I have an uphill sort of seven eight meter putt there. Great up shot from Willie. Take his three and move on. Yeah, on days like this, you want to be close to the basket. Oh yes, that was a great putt. He's yes, finally, finally found one in his comfort range and yeah, nailed it. Great putt there from Kevin as well. Right, Callum going to a knee. Wow. Putting from everyone has been pretty solid for the most part, I'd say. <laughs> and, the, and the wind, if those, even those ones are a bit scary at times. Hole 11, my favourite hole on the course. Why is that? There's just so many different lines you can throw, it's so interesting. <laughs> There's the links of the forehand one straight up the middle. Looks like we've got another forehand here out of Callum. Oh, yeah, it's still great. Yep. Maybe tracking basket if it hadn't hit that. I always had juice to clear the lake behind it. And that is a, a fantastic shot out of Willie. Wow. The control on that turnover, incredible. It's probably not the line Kev was after, but that's all right. He has a chance to get up and down there. He's ringing up some trees today, that's for sure. There's another one. Sorry, Kev. It's not personal. Oh, Liz. Can do get another one in the bag. Oh, good bit. One more tree to navigate. Oh, that's a very 
good effort there. That would have been some pass save. Callum for his two. Well done. This is definitely a gettable hole, but it's you know, still a bit of a challenge at times. That one just catching there for Wes. Willie tapping in an easy two. Kev, we can clean up his four. All 12 jelly, going across the lake. A little bit different to the standard league had, but this is where it was for finals day. Yeah, it was pushed back a little bit, wasn't it? Yeah, that's uh, good from Callum there. Willie looking to follow suit. Just kind of want to land one almost halfway up, but slide up, do the disc, let the disc do the work for you. This looks like it's going a little bit wider. Bit a tough look from there, but yeah, he's, not, he's across. Not much of a look. Kevin throwing something on a bit of a hyzer flip line and fuels it. Yep, that's a great shot. Great shot, yeah. Maybe he'll go for the uh, the diving up shot like we've seen in our yes on all of our previous coverage. This is a bit of an iconic spot over there. Not Good soft good. landing. Couldn't quite see from that angle, but he may have. He's done really well just to make that a tap in. Right, Willie going uphill. Ooh. It is a challenging putt from down the bottom of that hill there. Just to really give it that height. That one missing right. Forced to a knee, it can throw your, your line up a little bit. And Kev ending up the only two on the card so far. It's pumped. Yeah, we spoke to that. <laughs> He's making sure this happens. Yeah, couple, couple of threes there, and Kev with the solitary two. Okay, down the tunnel. See that tree there with the arrow mando left? It's a, makes it a fun wee challenging hole. Not the longest, but that is exactly how you want to play it. Yeah. Just slide one up the middle. Yeah, there's a lot of ground action. If you can get the disc a little bit nose up, it'll just keep going for you. Won't go too far left or right, just straight up the guts. Will you go into the forehand by looks? Pulled a little left. Yes. Find his blue disc. Stoked with that one, just catching an early tree you can see there. I think that's him there though, he's still get a straighter look. Absolutely. And Kevin, back for the wall of trees, one, no, one gap out there to the right. Go through the tree, yep, go around. This is in. a tough spot to be in. Yep. Especially when you're trying to chase these birds moving late into the round. Not where you want to be. Forces yep. you to work on your scramble, this sort of thing. What do we got? Yes, sir. Yep, as Liz said, yes, sir. Yeah, very so well done. Very well executed shot there from Kev. Good stuff. Tricky look there, the way he had. Absolutely. Quite often at Jelly Park here, it just comes down to the last few holes with 15, 16. Yeah, well, we've got those coming soon. It's a great two there from Callum. He's got some momentum down here through the back nine. Hole 14. So just a little bit of an island hole. Anything outside the ropes there is out of bounds. So just looking to push something straight and finish left. Right hand back end, exactly what Callum did there. Yeah, you can see his disc there. Nicely settled inbounds. Here's Willie. There's RPM Kia. Good disc on a windy day. Well, he's definitely in it. Yeah, I think he is. I think you're right. He is definitely in it. Safe, safe play with the Kia there. Oh, wow. There's going to be a tough break here. He's actually found the out of bounds by the looks of it. Kev really wanting one to go in, but that's just a park job instead. Yeah, he'll be happy with that, I think, the way the round's been going. 
absolutely. Uh, let's just a little bit low. See so if we can convert his two here. Bit of a scary putt with the OB behind so close. Catches a few changes, maybe that was in his head. Pops out. That's a good stroke to pick up there for Callum. It's a uh, yeah, big going into the final few holes. So I think Skat got himself out to quite a lead now. I wonder if he knows, because the next two holes are sort of make or break for a round. Absolutely. I've been on some PB runs and gone to these two holes and come away disappointed. Usually there's a hole three for you. Well no, usually I'm three down through three and then... <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> that's, that's right. Throw in the pond on hole four or something. So you've gone to a forehand. We've seen it a couple of times out of him, but... Uh, no, he's not happy with that. Yeah. I don't think Callum was happy with his either. Yeah, so if we can execute. Goes out with a forehand and just hangs up there. That's not a not a bad spot to be in. I think that's a pretty pretty solid shot, especially since the tee's moved back. It's a really hard hole to two, and so yeah, you're going for the aggressive flex line like Lee's that needs to get back in. I don't think that quite pops back in, do you? No, not not over the wire, so he'll have to retreat quite a bit there. Very good effort though. Keep switching back to the back end. Oh nasty kick. Gone OB. At this point he just wants to get this one nice and close. Oh, that's very unfortunate to see there. So confident in you know those e easier ranges today. Now uh, hole 16, uh, par four, the only par four on the course. It's a bit longer than usual. I just really want to kind of rip one out there, keep it in the middle. Whether it looks like he's done just that. Fading over into the regular 16s for you as a good spot to be. Yeah, you get a pretty good tunnel from over there. Especially with this being a par 4 now, these guys will be looking to pick a birdie if possible. Still a challenging one, but it'll be a good one to get going down the stretch. Callum. That looks like a great shot. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a great spot to be in. The further you get, the bigger those gaps become. So he's done really well there. Wow! Keep <laughs> <laughs> having that with the course maintenance, by the sounds of it. Les for a little standstill forehand. Alright, what gap have we got here? Doesn't sound like you hit the gap. No, but it'll be a up and down from there without mm, too much trouble. Yeah, that should be pretty routine for these there. Keep going low and up the path. Oh, oh. filtered OB. He's really just found a couple of bad breaks his last. last when it rounds. rains, it pours. Here's Willie from where he landed. Yeah, so he's got that main channel and is able to skip one up there. That's a great looking shot. You ever look for a three? Now Callum here. Oh no. I oh, think that might have been OB. Yes, it certainly was. Les throwing his up shot. Oh, we've got a simultaneous action here. Callum throwing his up shot as well. Two tidy looking ones. Let's see what Kev can do here. The source for his four, I believe. So here's Callum. Looking to clean up his 
five, I believe. Yeah, so that's a five, and Les getting in there. So Willie is down here. Down there for three, I believe. In the bush, yeah, looking to card the birdie. First up, we've got Kevin. A little bit high. All right, so this is a huge moment now. Willie catches this, and he's got a two-shot swing, and will take the lead going into the last two holes. Be a great putt if he can nail it. And he does, catching those left side chains. That's pretty clutch, folks. Staying in the basket. That's ice cold. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, Willie, with two holes to play, one shot lead, hole 17 down the tunnel. That backhand line is not easy, but Willie made it look easy. Yeah, he's thrown a, a putter there, obviously, and it's got a soft finish. No skipaways. Yeah, that's exactly where you want it. Great looking shot. Now, Callum going for the forehand. Probably trying to follow suit. He'd be looking to match Willie's park job. He wants to get this close. That looks like it was pretty close from here. Yeah, that was a good looking shape. Les here. Same line, slightly higher. It may be stalling a bit early. He'll be inside circle for a, for a birdie opportunity, I'd say. Kevin, that looks like it's turning out of the hand. It might be testing the OB line on the right. Being the creek. And all four pretty handy drives. Liz unfortunately just dropping that one a little bit low. Yep, four in the circle. Liz and Kevin unable to capitalize. Willie, no nonsense. Callum, Callum, two. Yep, well done. All right, so one hole to play and a one shot lead with Willie. Here he is. This shot potentially wins the league. Just get it in bounds. That, Job done. Yep, that looks like it's in bounds from here. Callum, let's see if Callum can match it. He's going to need to put it nice and close to try to it's chase turning, that turning. It's testing that tree, but yes, that is also in bounds. Well done, fellas. Les looks a bit low. Oh, and just the wind just pushed it yeah, that's into the bank. It's unfortunate, especially with hole 18 this year, playing as an island hole. So you have to re-tee if you don't make the island. Did you hear of anyone having to do that? Um, I believe someone by the name Sam Mark may have emptied his bag, but... He's got a hat, though. Well, oh, it's probably worth it, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Callum gives it a good go. Needed to make that, though, really. Yeah, definitely definitely gave a good good effort. Now, it'll be interesting to see what all he does here. Has he's, he checked the scorecard? He's up one, I believe. Yeah, yeah, he knows. That looks, he like, knows. that looks like someone who knows the scores. Don't need to do more than you need to. Kevin, unfortunate, will not finish with a bird. Les here taps in his four. Yep, good clean up. Callum to finish with a par. Ooh, it's unlucky. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Not the way you want to finish. But he's played a fantastic round. He yeah. has played a very tidy round. But not good enough to beat Willie to Ratna. He's been in the mix every league that I've ever played in. Unfortunate not to take any of it down. It's almost felt like it's been fate, but he's done it here today. Well done, Willie. Yep, congratulations, Willie. Uh, well deserved. Um, there was only two shots separating the top two players today. So the entire season, very long, I know, very gruelling, but there's a reason for that, because I want the best of the best to show up today. Uh, and uh, after the first round, I thought we had it, then the win came, and it became entertaining. Um, so without further ado, in second place is, and I apologise if I say your name wrong, uh, Callum Fetterbridge. Thanks for everyone for coming out. It was a great day. Yep, so until next time, keep shooting below par. <laughs>